Hello everyone, welcome back to an interesting video. In this video, we are going to talk about an interview scenario or a real-time challenge that was asked to one of our subscribers in KPMG. So this was like, I think, level two uh, round of interview that was happening to him. And the interviewer or the panel asked him to create a dynamic date filter using parameter. So when I say dynamic date filter using parameter, the expectation was something similar to this. Now here, based on what I am selecting, like say here, if I'm selecting here, I want my view to be converted to uh, that thing that is one scenario and second is based on this i want my second date pa uh, filter to be automatically updated like say if i'm selecting year here i'm getting year options here likewise if i'm selecting month here i'm getting only months from here and it should also filter according to what i'm selecting here okay so that was the intention if i select week you have got all the week numbers something like that okay so this is the intention so let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. So to start off, first thing that I'm doing is uh, I'm creating a parameter here called as select date format. Okay, so in this, I'm going to select integer type. Maybe you can try with string also, but I'm taking integer considering uh, the performance here. one two, three, four, okay. So I'm writing four values or taking four values, but they're based on how many date formats you need. You can write the numbers here and I'm renaming that as year. Second would be month and uh, third would be quarter and week. So if you also need at a day level, then you can write that as well. But I'm not doing that for now because uh, I don't think. So these are the four common date parts that we might you know, get in real time. So I'm considering this as standard date parts. So I'll click on OK. So the first one is ready. So I'm just clicking on show parameter. And what now what I'm doing is I need to write a calculation so that I can convert my date into whatever the format is here, right? So for that, I'm going to write it, write a simple calculation here uh, and I'm calling it as select date format. Okay, now I'm calling that parameter in this select date format. Okay, now when it is one, one means what year technically it is year. Then I want my order date to roll up to order date. So I'm taking year of order date format. Likewise, when I'm taking when two, then I want my dates to be truncated at or rolled up at month. I'm considering that like that when I'm taking three, then it should be quarter. And I'm taking quarter of order date. A simple calculation that is very effective. Maybe you can try using if else also or any alternate approach that should help you in creating a logic or you know, uh, writing an alternate project would help you in writing the calculations. And the fourth would be week. I'm writing order date okay, and I'm simply ending it. Now there are two ways we can use this. Click on apply. First method is you can direct, I'm just converting this into dimension because I don't want that to be aggregated. I can put it on column shelf and I'll just take sales. Now see here, first thing, we can dynamically update our dates or view according to what the format is being selected here. So if I'm selecting year here, I'm getting year format. If I'm selecting month, I'm getting month format. If I'm selecting quarter, I'm getting quarter format. And if I'm selecting week, I'm getting week format. So this is dynamically updating view according to what the date format is selected. This is your first thing that we can implement in real time. So often I have seen this type of scenario in many you know, projects that we are working. So it is important for us to understand the concept and remember the concept so that when needed, we can implement it. Okay, now our intention is we want a filter Okay, so that we can you know, filter it based on that. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm simply creating uh, 
a view here with the category and subcategory. And uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just taking this selected date format and I'm clicking on show filter. So rather than, you know, using that into rows and columns, I'm using that as a filter. That is the only difference. So multiple value drop down. Now, when I'm selecting a uh, year from this, I'm getting only years in the drop down. Now, whatever the user needs, he can select and the view will automatically update. So if I'm selecting month, it is only displaying month. Likewise, if I'm selecting quarter, quarter. So that way we can implement this as, you know, interesting uh, scenario in the project. I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to you know comment in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.